A few weeks ago, we launched Oranami 2.0 and the response has been incredibly overwhelming. Oranami users are loving the ability to send broadcast and triggered emails and SMSs, of course, all without leaving WordPress. They are loving the idea of having unlimited contacts and not having to shift to higher plans or higher slabs as their business grows and the number of their contacts increase. What they're loving the most are in-depth contact profiles and, of course, analytics. But one thing that Oranami has been particularly appreciated for is its deep integration with popular and really flexible form building plugins such as WP Forms, Gravity Forms, Ninja Forms, Elementor Forms and more. Yes, because Oranami integrates with these form builders, you can build your signup forms using these plugins and send data over to Oranami with a lot of ease. Hi, I'm Tavleen from WooFunnels and in this tutorial, I will show you how to build a form and map the fields so as to store contact information in Oranami. You'll also learn how to send out confirmation email or double opt-in email to these leads. You'll see how you can apply tags to the contacts entering through these sign-up forms or subscribe them to specified lists. Well, there's so much packed in this tutorial. I really don't want to get ahead of myself. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so we're in the backend now and I'm in WP Forms. So I've already created a form by the name of assessment. So let me show you how this form looks. In addition to the common fields, which is name and email, I've also added two drop-down fields for gender and occupation. So these are my two drop-down fields that I've got here. And so that's what the form looks like. Now I'm just going to cross this out and go into Oranami. All right, so let's go in contacts. So this is contacts in Oranami. As you can see that all the contacts in Oranami are listed one below the other. And here we have rich contact profiles. So we're going to head straight into the fields tab. So here again, I've created two custom fields by the name of gender and occupation. Again, these are two drop down fields and I've created these custom fields for mapping to be done perfectly. Uh, so here, let me show you. That's the fields that we've got and these are the options that we've got. Uh, and again, for occupation, let me show you. So this is, these are the options. Again, they match the options that I've created in uh, WP Forms. So now let's go into forms. Okay, so this is the form section. And here, what we're going to do is add new form. So let's just call it assessment. And let's add it. All right, so now in the first step, you have to select the form. So as you can see, we currently have integrations with Elementor, Gravity Forms, WP Forms, Fluent Forms, and of course the opt-in forms by WooFunnels. We are continuously adding to the list, but at the time of recording this video, these are the integrations we have. And of course, as we are rolling them out, well, you will see more form builders integrated right here. So let's select WP Forms and here we shall choose the form which is assessment. There you go. Now you can hit the next button and you will land on the next step which is mapping. Now here you can choose not to import a particular field. We will map name with the first name. We will map email with email and we will map gender with gender and of course occupation will be mapped with occupation so these are the two custom fields that we created and these fields already existed now here you have the option to add tags to the users who submit the form you can also add them to specified lists 
So let's say that you conducted a workshop because of which these users entered your system and submitted the form. So what you can do is that you can add them a tag of workshop, let's say 360. Maybe that's what the workshop was called. So that's the tag that gets added on the users who submit the form. Now here you have the option to update existing contacts. So which basically means that let's say people are already in your list, you have their name and email and they filled out this new form now with their gender and occupation as well. So the existing contacts can be updated with the new information provided by them. Further, you can trigger automation. So related to the tag added on them or the list they became part of, if you have any automated sequences that need to run, you can just hit the toggle and the related sequences will get triggered. So that's it for the options here in the second step. Let's move on to the next step now. All right, so this is the third step. It's for lead notification. Now here you've got two options, enable email notification and auto confirm contacts. Let me explain you both the options one by one. So let's hit the toggle. Now here you can do three things. You have the option to do three things. Let's go over them one by one. So firstly, you can send a double opt-in email. So what that means is that under GDPR guidelines, if you want them to be able to confirm their subscription before they hear from you again, you can simply just have, a, you know, type a nice email asking them to confirm their subscription. The link that you drop here will come from Merge Tags. And uh, here you have the option to choose confirmation link. You can copy this and just link it out. So this is where you can paste the link over here. And that is how when they click on it, their subscription will get confirmed and they will become confirmed users in your list, which means that you can send out your next email out to them. So that's for double opt-in. The next option that you have here is to paste the link of the freebie or the lead magnet directly. So they filled out a form in order to get a freebie. So if you want, you might not want them to confirm their subscription. You can just get rid of this and you can simply say download your free guide. And here you can paste the link of the free guide based on wherever it's hosted. Just copy the link from there and paste it here. Now this could be a guide or a video or a link to some replay of a webinar, whatever that is. Just paste the URL here and you're good to go. Now, in this case, I suggest that you scroll all the way down and auto confirm contacts. So since you're not asking them to double opt in, since you are not sending out a confirmation email, you can just hit the toggle and they will be automatically confirmed as your subscribers and you can carry out further communication with them. The third case here is that where you do not send them a separate confirmation email. Instead, you send a combination of confirmation and the download your freebie email. How do you do that? Well, it's a very interesting use case. And here's the thing. Most CRMs don't allow you to do that. Don't offer you this kind of flexibility. Now, let me explain you the problem over here. So what happens is that when you have a separate confirmation email, a lot of times people just don't feel compelled enough to click on the link. They just don't open the confirmation email and click on the confirmation link, causing you not to be able to reach out to them with your future emails. And that is, well, I mean, come on, that's just, just, just a waste of so much effort that you put into creating the form, the freebie, getting people in and so on. They just drop off. So here's what you can do. It's a very optimized use case and you're absolutely going to love the process here. So you can say download your free guide because you're giving them an incentive. You're using the power word free, which will 
uh, compel them to click on the link. And of course, it also closes the loop. They did not sign up to confirm. They signed up to get what they want. What's in it for me, right? It speaks to that psychological need of a uh, of, of a person. Of a, so here's what you're going to do. Download your freebie. And in download your freebie, you will insert the link. And the link here will come from the merge tag. It will be the confirmation link. And you're going to copy this and you shall paste it here. Insert the link and paste the link here. That's the confirmation link. And when they click on this link, they will be confirmed. And of course, we do not need them to we do not need to hit the toggle for auto confirm contacts. So that can remain unchecked. Uh, the toggle can remain off. And when they click on it, they will be confirmed. And further, what you can do is redirect after confirmation. So you can paste the URL here of the free guide, of the free video, or whatever it is that you are giving them. You can paste the link here, and then they will be redirected after being confirmed. Well, so when someone clicks on the link and gets confirmed, it means that no spam emails are entering your system, and you have the option to, um, you know, only have people who are genuinely interested in your offer, who click on the link that says download your free guide. And you're also fulfilling the promise of directing them to the free guide through this part here, which is redirection after confirmation. Well, so let's say that my freebie is hosted here. I'm just going to place paste the link here. And well, uh, that's how it will work. Right now, let's look at some of the other options that you have at your disposal. Automatically append UTM parameters to email links. So what happens is, again, to generate a UTM parameter link, you have to go to a separate uh, interface. You have to go to a separate website in order to be able to do that. But here, when you check the box, You'll be asked campaign source, medium name. You can fill out the boxes and the, the parameters will get automatically appended to the email link and you will be able to track the email links coming from this email, which is absolutely great. Further, don't send email if the contact is already subscribed. So if the contact is already subscribed to your list and they come back on the opt-in page and again fill out the form, well, you can choose not to send an email out. Here you can add tags after confirmation. So when you hit the toggle, you can add the uh, contact here. So let's say my uh, tag here is confirmed users. So, well, that's the tag that I could add right here and uh, they will that tag will get added to them after they click on the confirmation link which is great um, like here we've already discussed auto confirm the contacts which is in case you're not sending them a separate confirmation email and directly sending them a list to the free guide in that case you can auto confirm contacts well so that is how you go about it Again, uh, here you have all the options to enter from name, email, reply to email, enter subject line, which could just be your opt-in offer or your freebie offer or freebie is here. And this could be take a look inside or just to compel them to click on the email and open it. So that's the importance of a preview text. And then you can hit activate once you've configured all the settings and you're satisfied. So this has been updated. This is the title of the form, the source. It's a WP form. That's the form ID. In WP form, status is active. Obviously, contacts are zero at the moment because we're just starting off. And here we have the field mapping, which has been done correctly. That's the tag that will get added to them once they enter, once they submit the form. Yes, to update existing form. And these are for email notification. That's the redirect URL and so on. Uh, auto confirm contacts, no. Well, so that is kind of the summary, the overview of the con of the form that we've just created, the, the mapping that we've just done. And now it's ready. All right, so now we're going to fill out the assessment form in the front end, and we will see how the data gets stored in the back end of Oranami. Let's do that. All right, so here you go. So that's the assessment form that we created. I'm just going to fill it up with some details. 
So, so let's just do that and and I'm going to select the gender, I'm going to select the occupation and just submit it. All right, so we're in the contact section of Foreign Army now, and that is the contact that we just created. So as you can see there, this is the contact profile. You can see their email, their first name, uh, their gender, and the occupation that they selected, the tag that get it, or get that got added on them, and so on. If you had more custom fields, you will be able to see all the details here. Now, as they begin to interact with your system, when they make a purchase, and so on, you'll also be able to see other details about them such as their orders, total spend and so on. So just hopping back to forms. So that was the form that we created. So this one too shows uh, that uh, this is the form source, it's active and one contact has just got added, which I just added in front of you. So that's that and uh, well, um, you can see all the rest of the details. That's the tag that got, got, got added on them and uh, so on. All right, so that's it for now. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this extensive tutorial on integrating your forms with Oranami. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next